Ladies and gentlemen, today is a good day. Today we have the 3D LED wall clock. And before you say, what in the world is a 3D LED wall clock? Well, I'm gonna show it to you right here. User manual right off the top, remote control. You have some little hook mounts here. Also some drywall screws and some sticky little hooks for different mounting options. Looks like we have a nice long cord here. We got USB to a plug in right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the clock here. Remote control already does have a battery included. Just pull out that little tab. And if you are wondering, that cord length is super long. I'm gonna go estimation eight to 10 foot. And so what you do is you plug this in the bottom of it here, and then you could do a, like a nice cord management, get that out of the way. And this is a clear power cable. And so that's gonna be nice for cord management as well. So you can't really see that, or you could hide that out of the way. Or if it's close to an outlet, you guys get the idea. Now, the only problem, I wish they would have included it. Of course, we all have extras around the house, but they don't include a wall adapter, meaning you could, of course, power this by anything USB related, computer, laptop, anything like that. If this is in your studio, your workshop, your space, but it would be nice if they included a power adapter. But again, most of us have extras lying around the house and I actually do. All right. Well, this is powering up just like all my videos. Top link in the description box below will be this exact same clock where you guys can read more about it, pick it up yourself. So you do have a couple mounting options. You can just go ahead and put some screws in that are provided, slip it on down. Of course, the double sticky little hooks or if it's on a flat surface, you could just put it upright like you see right here. Okay, I've lowered the light of my DSLR camera so it pops out as it would truly, and we're looking really good here. I've set the time, and there is a date function as well. So you just set it right here. Here is the date. It is now 414, and of course you can do military time as well, or regular standard time. It does have a temperature function here. So right now we see 61 degrees Fahrenheit, I hit it again, 16 degrees Celsius, going back to 61 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really nice. And it does make a beep. I don't know if you can eliminate that beep or not. And there are brightness settings as well. That is the dimmest right here. Uh, that I think is the brightest. And then middle, or actually it says off. So now it's off completely. So let's say it's in the background of your film studio, your YouTube space, your home office, you're on a Zoom and it's a little too distracting, you can turn it off. Go ahead and turn it back on. So again, I think that's the brightest. Uh, that's medium setting, and then that's the lowest, and then back to brightest. You do have an alarm function where you can do an alarm right there. I'll leave that up to you. I'll go ahead and keep it on the off setting myself. There is a snooze function as well with that alarm, and there is a loop function. So if we hit the left button on our remote control, it will go into a loop function where it'll go time, then it'll go month and date, and then it's about eh, three seconds or so. Let's see. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, about three seconds. It'll do a loop for date, time, and temperature, if you prefer that. If you don't want that, go ahead and hit that left button one more time, and it will stop looping. If you are wondering the dimensions of the clock, it's almost 15 inches across, 14.96 by 5.12 inches height and by 0.94 inches wide here. Okay, and so this actually can remain solid or flash. All you have to do is push the right button and it will blink if you want that or push it again and it goes solid. So that gives you some options if you do like the blinking in between or the solid. Now I being from Colorado currently right now, but born and raised in Southern California, I really never cared about the temperature and I've been wanting to know the temperature quite frequently, especially now that I am in Colorado. It is spring, but sometimes you're like, what in the world temperature it is? And if you are wondering, it's 61 degrees in my house right now, and it was snowing about one hour ago. So I'll just tell you the difference. Well, I was gonna put it out in my shop, but I might just put it right here for right now. So my puppy and I, when we wake up in the morning, we look over at this beautiful view as we can see right here in the Colorado, beautiful spring right here, little spring snow, and see the clock really sharply right in front of us right here. So overall, I think it's a really cool light and I believe they come in different colors as well. Once again, 
Top link in the description box right below the video will be this exact same link for this LED clock where you guys can read more about it and get your hands on it yourself. If you wouldn't mind, hit that thumbs up button on the way out. It helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you like more videos like this, tech related videos, DIY van life builds, home remodel videos, and more. We will see you on the next video. Once again, top link in the description box below will be your link for this clock. We'll see you on the next one. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.